I hate printers. I first had a Dell All-in-One, and it sucked. Then I had an HP JustJet, and it sucked. Then a Kodak ESP7, and it sucked. Then a Samsung laser printer, and it sucked. Right now, I'm using an HP OfficeJet, and it's decent. But I have yet to come across any printer that I actually like. Uh, whether it be driver and software issues, ink running out every couple of minutes, or the printer simply falling apart, uh, I've never had good luck with them. Uh, so will this be the change? First, let's talk about the packaging. It's nothing special, but it's easy to understand and open. The first thing you notice once you get it out of the box is the design. Again, it's nothing special, but I did find that one, the printer is pretty good looking with a simple elegance to it, and two, it's also pretty flimsy, and three, it's pretty darn big, taking up most of all the space on my table. This all-in-one inkjet printer features a scanner, card reader, and a small LCD of average quality you can use to scan, fax, print, and view photos. It, of course, has Wi-Fi built in. The software that comes on the included CD has the necessary printer driver as well as your average bloatware. A welcome change, however, is the clear option to not install it. After installing your driver, the software package asks you if you want to install the extra crap, which I did for giggles and laughs. To keep it short, it's nothing you need. My biggest concern was that I could not get the software to scan correctly. It would always crash. Perhaps it would work if I reinstalled the software package, but that took an hour and a half of time I'm not going to waste again. I installed the printer on my iMac and experienced no issues. On quality, my answer would be good. The Workforce 630 features a 2400 by 2400 DPI scanner and a 5760 by 1440 DPI printer. The real world quality isn't amazing, but it's more than good enough to warrant its $150 price. Although the packaging claims this printer to be the fastest inkjet in the world, I saw none of that. The print speeds were good, but not excellent. I haven't run out of ink quite yet, and the ink cost is only mildly concerning at $54 to replace all of the four ink cartridges. So is this the change? Although I could expect a lot more out of this printer, I came into this thinking that it just wasn't going to work out right, and it did. So I'm going to have to rate this a 7.75 out of 10. So this has been Techno Guy 3 and thanks for watching. It, of course, has Wi-Fi. Blah. The first thing you notice out uh, blah, blah, blah. The workforce the blah, blah. The workforce th th ugh, man. The real world quality isn't amazing, but it's more than a good The real world quality isn't amazing, but it's more than good enough to warrant its oh, blah. man, frick. The real world The real world quality isn't amazing, but it's more than good enough to warrant its the real world quality The real world quality isn't amazing, but it's more than good enough to warrant its $150 price. Although the packaging claims this Frick! I haven't run out of ink quite yet, and the ink cost is only mildly concerning at $54 to replace all four ink cart cart blah 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 blah.